Hi, and welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. This month's topic, we're going to talk about narrow heels or if you have baggy heels in your point shoes. And with me today, I've got Laura DeOrio. Hi, Laura. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Laura is a dancer, a teacher, and a writer. So I'm really excited to have her on the program here this month. Uh, Laura, I noticed your feet, because that's just a habit of mine, when I take my own classes or when I see uh, dancers, even if I see them barefoot, I have to, it's a, just a little nerdy habit that I have. I'm always looking at people's feet, and I noticed that you have really narrow heels. Yeah. And what I also noticed was, what I found interesting is when I've seen you in your point shoes, your point shoes didn't look baggy to me, because normally if you see somebody with that much of a narrower heel than forefoot, it, their, their point shoe, there'll be quite a big gap in the space, and I didn't notice that with you. So I'm wondering if you would help me out and maybe uh, tell everybody some of the things that you do. Is there anything special that you do for your shoes uh, to uh, help take care of that? Is there, do you do anything special with like elastic or anything like that? Yeah, I've played around with placement. Um, for me, it helps with my elastic. It's pretty far back, close to, to the heel to keep my, my shoe really snug on. Okay, okay, and we'll give some demonstrations of that too. I just want to go a little bit over anatomy. Uh, sometimes people don't quite understand the reality with uh, the way the shoe's constructed and the anatomy of a foot uh, happen to not go, uh, go together as far as the, uh, as the baggy heel is concerned. So I've got my foot here, my little foot skeleton, and when in a human, it's, it's actually fairly rare for it to be the same front to back, right? When you're a different size from the front and a different size to the back, uh, very often you will have somebody that will say hey, I have a D front, and then they would have maybe a B heel. Sometimes you have somebody with a white, a narrow heel, uh, and in a point shoe, with the construction, I just want to show everybody this. This is an old-fashioned last. So last used to be made out of wood, and now they're made out of plastic, but I just happen to have an old one here. Uh, you can see it's been used quite a lot. But anatomy, or, or construction speaking, really, the point shoe is the same from the front to the back. So if this is a B width in the front, it's going to be a B width in the heel. And we've got, for example, Laura here. She's really, she looks like you're like a D or an E front, something like that, maybe E double E front, and then it looks like you're really more of a C in the back. Uh, and it's, that can be problematic because when you're talking about construction, once again, the shoe is built the same front to back. So if they give you a B in the front, it's a B in the back. If they give you a C in the front, it's a C in the back. So we want to give people some options about how to work with that. One of the things that you can do, and I found uh, this seems to work, is stretch ribbon. So I don't know if you want to feel that. I don't know if you've ever used Stretch Ribbon before. It's this great product. There are some really, really stretchy. I just happen to really like the Chakot Stretch Ribbon. Uh, it has just the right amount of stretch. Have you ever tried a Stretch Ribbon for not, your? Not thoroughly, all the way stretch now. Okay, okay, so maybe something, trying something like that out may help. It just may help pull the shoe in a little closer to the foot to use a Stretch Ribbon. Then the other thing is, have you ever tried this? Have you ever doubled up on your elastic? No. Like used a double set. Have you ever crisscrossed? Yes. Oh, you have crisscrossed. Okay, so you can crisscross. You can use, like, um, I'm just using two different color shoes so you can kind of see. If you go through with the elastic and you cut it, right? So there I have, instead of one piece per shoe, I've got two pieces per shoe. And the way you would put that on there is say we've got our point shoe here, you would sort of X the elastic over the front of the arch. Have you, and you've tried that? Mm -hmm. And does that seem to work pretty well for you? It does, that helps. This is funny, have you ever had a director or a teacher say, I don't like the way that looks? Yes. Oh, you have, and they're like, you have to go back to the other thing. It was a little too bulky. Oh, really? So they were looking that close at you. Okay, so this is one little trick. I know you haven't tried this, but I thought maybe we could experiment with it today. These are heel grippers. You can get these at any ladies' shoe store. Uh, sometimes they even sell them in drug stores. And they come in different um, sort of, uh, materials. There's a very rubbery, this is rubbery and it's got sticky on one side, and then this is a little smoother and it's got sticky on one side, and then I have to always get this in. I'm like, nobody will know inside the point shoe but you, so if you want to use a fun color, go ahead and use a fun color. And I'm going to use Laura's feet to demonstrate. As always, you want to make sure you get all your tools together. Stretch ribbon, elastic, extra firm, and heel grippers. I've got my heel gripper here. It's got grippy on one side, and it's got uh, sticky on the other side, and you can just peel that off, and you can 
just adhere that right to the back of the shoe. You get it right under, don't put it on top of the drawstring casing, that casing at the top. You wanna line it up. And the dancer, that will hug up on the foot. And it also helps if you have a problem with heel slippage, right? So I've got my heel gripper right in there. Now, very often, dancers will tell me that that's a little bit too bulky. So I'm gonna remove that. I'll take that piece out. I'm gonna use my fun color piece because I say be a little rebellious. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that piece right in half. Right, so I've got my two pieces, and I'm gonna take off the backing, so the sticky part's there. And then I'm gonna put that on one side. That's where the Achilles tendon would be, so I don't want it to go directly on the tendon. I wanna go either side of the tendon. Good, and then maybe, Laura, if you could put the shoe on and we can see whether that helped us with some of the gapping in the back. That looks good already. It does feel good. Does it feel secure? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And there she goes. Maybe you can point your foot and see. Now see, that's taken up some of the gap, and it hasn't taken up any of your room when you go for demi-plie. And maybe we can demonstrate some of that on point. Thanks, that was a great segment, and I really feel like I learned a lot. How do you feel, Laura? I learned a lot, thank Good. you. So maybe you'll use some of those things, and, and then you can share them with your own students, too. They're, they're gonna love seeing you on camera. As always, we say click if you like it, subscribe, and don't forget to leave your comments below.